Let's install Catchy Linux today. It is an Arch-based Linux which is aiming to be high performance and stable at the same time. I'm gonna install the distribution and run some gaming benchmarks on it and see how it compares to other distributions. I have already downloaded the ISO file from the internet and put it on the flash drive with Ventoy on it. Let's start the installation process. On their grub menu of the live CD, they have one option which has the NVIDIA closed source driver. I'm gonna use that to start the installation. The live CD took some time to start. And now I have connected to the internet. Let's start the installation. I'm erasing the whole disk and using ButterFS as the partition. It is nice to see there are a lot of desktop environments to choose from in the installation. But because I want to use Wayland, I'm going to keep using KDE Plasma here. The next page is the confirmation. I can see Firefox is not installed by default. And there is a CPU microcode package to be installed. I'll hit next now. Now the system installation has started. Let's see if the first time boot up will work after this. The system has already boot up correctly. I can see NVIDIA has already been installed as well. Let me do a system update and see how it works. The system is already up to date if I connect to the internet while installing the system. Now the first issue I found is that I cannot seem to turn on the Bluetooth option in the system settings. Let me try to see if I can solve that. Even though it does not have Firefox installed by default, but it has something called Catchy Browser. Let me use that and try to browse some solutions on ArchWiki. And the search engine in this browser is not Google or any popular search engines. Now the issue is that after you install BlueZ and BlueZ Util and enable the service from the system D, there is an enable button in the system setting, but the button doesn't work. I have already tried to see if the module is already loaded in the kernel and my user is also in the correct group. So I went into the Bluetooth CTL trying to use the terminal to turn on the Bluetooth and it gave me an error says no controller found. So the final solution was to download the Wi-Fi card official driver from Intel website, extract it, and copy this file to the lib firmware folder, restart the system, then everything works. Now let's see if I can install some Chinese input on this system. Because I'm using Plasma, I will go with FCITX5. I installed several things, the base FCITS5, the config tool, Chinese add-on, and the Rhyme. The pin input doesn't work. Let me try fixing it.
It seems I need to do several th other things to make it work in Plasma. The first one is that I need to select FCITX5 in the virtual keyboard in the system settings. The second one is that I need to install the FCITX5-IM group instead of just the base package. And the final one is that I need to add these variables in the environment variables. So according to the Arch Wiki, I add it in the etc profile folder. And then the input is working now. You can see I can start typing things and switch to English. It's time now to run some games benchmark. According to Catchy's wiki, it has Steam already installed. But it also mentioned that it would be better to install some additional package for gaming. Let's do that. Alright, after installing the catchiest meta gaming package, I found out Steam, Bottles, and Mongo Hut are all on the system now. So I spent some time setting up the game. So now let's see if we can start Assassin's Creed Origins. Without any issue, I was able to get into the game. Let me see if I can rerun it with Mango Hut. Well, after several times of trying, it looks like Mango Hut will freeze the game. All right, this is the second day now. Yesterday, after I failed to start the game with Mango Hut, I tried several things. After 30 minutes without being able to progress, I gave up. So today I realized that Mango Hut can also be set on the Steam level. So I removed the argument from the game level and then using the Mango Hut to start the Steam itself and the game didn't crash this time. Now, let's run the game benchmarks. Mango Hut is giving incorrect numbers. 0.1 and 1% lows are higher than average, while 97% high is lower, which doesn't make any sense. Well, I couldn't just give it up, because I realized I can also install the Flatpak version of Steam and Mango Hut. So I replaced them with Flatpak, but the same issue still happens. Let's leave it like this for now and move on to Red Dead Redemption 2 on native bottles. Let's see if I can run the benchmark now. So the game crashed when I started the benchmark. Let's try it again. Well, it crashed again. Let me see if different runner will help. Okay, the game benchmark has started. It seems the issue was the DXVK was disabled automatically when I imported the old backup from my previous system. Now let's see how good the benchmark is. Hmm, it looks like the Mango Hut number is not correct anyways because I'm also getting 99.8-0.1% low, which is even better than the average number, which was 54.5. Okay, I just replaced Mango Hut and Bottles with Flatpak version. Let's run it again and see if it helps.
Well, the second time is also the same result. I got 105 for a 0.1% low. Alright guys, today is the third day. After finishing the recording yesterday, I run the same benchmark on my desktop PC which has the same version of Flatpak Mongo HUD. But I also see the same incorrect numbers showing up on this machine which is running Linux Mint. So this means this issue is Mongo HUD related, not Catchit OS fault. I also found that the CSV file generated by the Mongo HUD has the correct number. So I put those numbers in the ArchBase datasheets to compare with the other distributions. We can see in Assassin's Creed Origins, Catchy OS has lower number in all 0.1% low, 1% low, and average compared to other Arch distributions. And on RDR2, Catchy OS actually has better numbers in 1% low and average, even though the 0.1% low is lower than the others which means catchy OS doesn't necessarily improve the gaming performance. Then the final question is that would I recommend catchy as a daily driver compared to other Arch-based distributions? I wouldn't say yes, because after three days of using it and seeing the bad number on Assassin's Creed Origins, I wanted to install the meta package again to see if that package will help the game have better number on Mango Hut. Then I ran into an issue while updating the system. This issue has happened several months back in Garuda, Manjaro, and Arch forums. And their solution is to update their Pac-Man mirrors. But Pac-Man mirrors package is not available in Catchy Linux. I ended up solving this issue by removing and reinstalling the native Mango Hut but the game would not start properly after I installed a meta gaming package, no matter which approach I used from yesterday. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.